This is the second video in a series of tutorials on World Editor by Laminar Research. Starting a new airport. The first thing we'll need to do is create our new scenery package. It might be a good idea here to have an understanding of what a scenery package even is. When you create a scenery pack, you are creating a custom scenery folder to later be added into X-Plane. This folder will contain everything X-Plane needs to integrate your custom made scenery. Open up the World Editor and click the New Scenery Package button. Click on the newly created package and give it a name. You can name it whatever you like. The name is unimportant except as an identifier for your own use. When you're done, hit Enter and with your newly created scenery package selected, click the Open Scenery Package button. You should now be looking at the World Editor drafting window showing our new and empty scenery package. So we will now need to set up the airport that X-Plane will use. Note that a scenery package does not need to be associated with an airport, but this tutorial set will focus around creating airport-based scenery. There is nothing stopping you from creating scenery around any other location you wish to customize. The first thing we'll need to do is import our airport data. To perform this import, open the file menu and click on import apt.dat. A box will appear asking you to select the file you wish to import. World Editor is smart about how it does this import. You can select the airport you wish to import instead of having to import potentially thousands of airports. Navigate to the X-Plane 10 folder, then the Resources folder, then the default scenery folder, then the default APT DAT folder, then the Earth Nav data folder, and select the apt.dat file. After we've selected the apt.dat file, World Editor will allow us to select the airport we wish to import. You can search the ICAO identifier of your airport in the filter search box. Note that you are not limited to importing only one airport. You can hold down the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac to select multiple airports. Once you've found your airport, select it in the list and hit the input button. All of the data for the selected airport is now available in your World Editor window. Now would be a great time to save. Be sure you get in the habit of saving your work. You can either click Save in the File menu or use Control S on Windows or Command S on the Mac. Another key thing to note about using World Editor is the new option to select a Target X-Plane version. Basically the export target sets the oldest version of X-Plane that can use the output scenery pack although you also have the option of setting the global airport database as your target. When the export target is set older, the relevant new features of WED are then not allowed. For example, if you set an airport target of version 9.7 of X-Plane, then you will see an error exporting ATC data because version 9 of X-Plane cannot accept ATC data. The default selection is X-Plane 10.00. The validate command, which you can access either through the file menu or by pressing shift Control v on the keyboard, shift command v on a Mac, validates the WED file based on the current export target. Alternatively, you also have the option to export for global airports. X-Plane maintains a community-driven effort to collect airport data into a global airport database. The Global Airport Database is a collection of all airport layouts authored by the X-Plane community over the years. Selecting this option will zip all files into one zip file to be sent to the database. For more information on this, check out data.dat.
x-plane.com. Be sure to validate your scenery pack before exporting it by being sure that Global Airport Database is selected under the Target X-Plane version option in the file menu.